Congratulations on becoming a brand new CUDA X owner. We're so glad to have you on the CUDA X crew. I'm Jake from Dive Extras, and I'm here to show you how to get your new scooter up and running as soon as possible so you can stop watching and start diving. This quick start guide will walk you through the basic steps of getting your CUDA X prepped for its first dive. For a complete breakdown of scooter care, maintenance, cleaning, stowing, and other instructions, please reference the official CUDA X user manual included with your scooter or available on our Zendesk support site. Also, feel free to use the markers along this play bar or the timestamps in the YouTube description to skip between sections of this video. Now let's get started. Your CUDA X ships fully assembled out of the box. You will find a few removable informational stickers attached to the outside of the scooter, which can be peeled off after you've familiarized yourself with your new CUDA X. Follow the steps below to power on your scooter for the first time and walk through the basics of prepping your CUDA X for a dive. Step one, undo strap. Release the cam lock and pull the long end of the strap through the length of bolt snap cord on the nose cone until it's free. Step two, remove nose cone. Pull the nose cone off using consistent firm pressure pulling straight away from the battery tube and set the nose cone aside. Step three, release pressure. Due to the nature of travel and shipping conditions, sometimes the CUDA X will accumulate a pressure differential before it is unboxed. To release this, simply press the tip of the vacuum vent valve to one side until pressure reaches equilibrium again. Step four, remove vacuum bulkhead. Pull the bulkhead out from the top of the battery tube by gripping it on either side of the vacuum gauge. We've made these gaps larger for this reason. Step five, keep or remove tail saltwater weight plate. Now that you've opened the scooter's battery compartment, this is a good time to keep or remove the saltwater weight plate located at the bottom of the battery compartment. Step six, check port plug. Check that the small port plug in the middle of the battery compartment's base is completely tightened and sealed. A four millimeter T-handle hex wrench tool makes this step easy. Just be careful not to over tighten it. Step seven, install batteries. Slide your batteries into the clips along the battery compartment. The CUDA X Tech model accepts two batteries while the Exploration accepts four. We recommend using fully charged, brand new batteries of the same brand and capacities of nine amp hour or 12 amp hour only. Mixing battery capacities will result in a scooter battery error. Step eight, replace vacuum bulkhead. Place the bulkhead back in the top of the battery compartment, aligning the vacuum gauge towards the top of the scooter so the gauge's sensing head won't be in the way of the batteries below it. While pressing the bulkhead down, release the vacuum vent valve to equalize pressure and allow the bulkhead to seat fully inside the tube. Step nine, vacuum test battery tube. Using the included vacuum pump, draw pressure from the battery compartment until the vacuum gauge reads at least negative five inches of mercury. Let sit for approximately 10 minutes, but no longer than 15. If there is any change in vacuum level, inspect O-rings, then retest. If the scooter continues to fail vacuum test, contact us for technical support. Step 10, replace nose cone. Press the nose cone firmly back into place. This is a good time to remove or leave the saltwater weight plates located on the inside of the nose cone. Step 11, connect strap and tighten. Thread the long end of the scooter's strap through the bolt snap attachment and over the handle. Then secure the strap in place using the cam lock once more. Step 12, power on scooter. Now that you've assembled your CUDA X, it's time to power it on. Press the power switch once and allow the scooter to boot up. This usually takes about two to three seconds. Remember to never store your batteries inside your scooter for extended periods of time and to only power on your scooter when you're ready to dive. The CUDA X will power itself off after about 20 minutes of inactivity. Step 13, use a tow cord. It's very important to use the included tow cord with your CUDA X since the scooter is only designed to be used in conjunction with one. The tow cord carries all the thrust of the scooter, allowing you to concentrate on steering and other activities. Simply adjust the sliding knot on the long end of your tow cord rope to match the length of your reach, then fasten it to your gear. The tow cord typically attaches to a D-ring secured to the crotch area of your equipment. Some dive equipment has this attachment point built in, in the form of a crotch strap. If your diving gear does not feature this attachment point, Make sure you obtain one before diving your scooter. Step 14, unlock thumb screw. Midway up the length of the trigger arm, you'll see a small knob. This is the thumb screw. It allows you to lock your trigger into a set position and can be used to relieve hand strain while scootering for long periods of time. It can also be used as a trigger lock in instances where you don't want your scooter powering on at the wrong time. 
when your CUDA X first arrives, the thumb screw and trigger will be in the locked position. Step 15. Throttling up and down. To accelerate your CUDA X, simply click the trigger twice for each speed gear increase. To decelerate, just tap the trigger once for each speed gear decrease, or release the trigger entirely to stop the propeller. Your scooter will start in speed 3, which we refer to as cruise speed. There are 8 possible speed gears on the CUDA X, with ludicrous speed being the fastest. Both ludicrous speed and speed 7 will throttle back after a few minutes to avoid overheating the scooter, but most users who only use these speeds for a short time may not even notice these parameters. Step 16. Powering off the scooter. To power off the CUDA X, hold the power switch button for at least 3 seconds. The scooter's screens will go dark when the scooter is no longer powered on. Remember to remove your batteries after diving to avoid any potential power drain or damage to your batteries. Step 17. After diving. When you have completed your dive, or given up, we don't judge, be sure to rinse your scooter in fresh water and carefully dry before opening any compartments. We recommend using compressed air to dry your CUDA X. It's also a good idea to blow away any debris or sediment from the power switch that may impact the switch's operation. Once your scooter is clean and dry, remove your batteries and store your CUDA X in a dry environment. That's all from me for today. Remember, if you need any more information, check out the CUDA X user manual on our support page. A link to it will be in the YouTube description below this video. Thanks for watching, and from all of us at Dive Extras, happy diving.